I want to show you this. It's a perpetual motion machine, not one of the baloney ones that you see on YouTube. This is a proper one that works. It's a serious scientific instrument. It consists mainly of this disc, which is made of expanded polystyrene, so it is obviously an insulator against electricity, but set in the edge of it are these little aluminium foil strips, which obviously are conductors. The whole thing is extremely finely balanced on two pins either side there. Now, it's a well-known fact that conductors such as this plate of aluminium here uh, have electric charges in them, and those charges are evenly spread throughout the conductor. The only exception to that is when you have a very pointed shaped object, and then the charges tend to accumulate around the tip of the point, rather as they do in a, a lightning conductor. So that's the principle that is being used here, because in the stand there are two pointed conductors, and they line up precisely with the aluminium plates on either side. They don't touch it, but the aluminium plates pass between these two pointy conductors. And that's how this device generates a force, because as the plate passes between the two pointy conductors, you have the pointy conductor and the flat plate in very close proximity, and that causes the charges to redistribute. And as a result, the flat plate becomes positively charged. Now, as the wheel begins to turn, that positive charge is raised up here around to the other side. And here, on this side, there's another conductor, but very much not a pointy conductor. This is a concave strip, and it's lined up in the opposite polarity, in the same direction as the disc. And this has the exact reverse effect of drawing the charge out of the plates. In a way, you can think of these plates as being little tiny capacitors that are revolving on a disc. And the effect is that the charge changes on the plate as it turns. And the charges on this side are positive, in other words, fewer electrons, and on this side are negative, so there are more electrons. And this imbalance between the two sides of the wheel generates a turning force. When I place the disc into the caddy like this, you can see that the, these little studs, these pointy conductors, come very close to, but do not quite touch, the wheel. And the result is that charges accumulating on the tip of these points draw electrons out of the an aluminium plates, causing the aluminium plates to become positively charged. On this side, the opposite is occurring because this is not a pointy conductor, this is a little concave strip aligned in the opposite direction, in the direction of the turn of the wheel. The force is always to turn the wheel in that direction. So, provided the wheel is properly balanced, and this one is as balanced as I can get it, there is a constant force turning the wheel in that direction. And it's only a very small force, but it's enough to generate the world's first perpetual motion machine. Thank you.